Hey guys, how you going? My name's Robbo, and I just wanted to let you guys know today that I'm going to be starting a footballing podcast. Every week, I'm going to be surveying the world footballing events, but mainly I'm just going to be checking that my favorite team won this week and brag how they are the best team in all of footballing history. And if you disagree with my opinion, I'm just going to shout at you until you back down. I'm just kidding, guys. I'm not starting a footballing podcast. Not yet. But recently, I have been very engrossed in the world of footballing podcasts. If you are unfamiliar with footballing podcasts, they are essentially talk shows about football or soccer. Usually the content of these podcasts are debates or watch alongs of football matches, talking about who's good and who's bad. And I'm just ready to get involved in the thought provoking discussions that happen in this space. The thing about Robert Pires is he was a tranquista, wasn't he? (laughs) What? Many of the debates that are had in these podcasts, you've probably already seen before in the playgrounds of your school. My team's better. No, it's not. Yes, it is. No, you stink. No, you stink. So if you come to watch these footballing podcasts expecting intelligent and enthralling discourse, you'd be quite mistaken. The first footballing podcast in question is called Pitch Side. Get it? Pitch? Football? Pitch side? Football side pitch? It is a very clever name, I'm not going to deny it. Uh, Hats off to the podcast name generator that came up with it. The podcast is hosted by Theo, Reeve and Tom. Each of them have their own individual online following that helped them launch this podcast. A head start is always nice, I'm not jealous or anything. If we look at their channel description, they have come together to create the UK's number one footballing podcast. And I'm not going to fact check that because why would a channel like theirs ever lie about something like that? A lot of the content produced by these footballing podcasts, not necessarily just pitch side, is centered around debates, which is always the perfect medium to showcase this meeting of the minds, as it were. In this episode, they debate the most overrated players of the 23-24 season. But fair warning, it does get heated. I always make sure that I only watch heated debates because what's the point of watching it otherwise? In goal, I think we've we've all said this person, Edison. Okay, now Cal, a guest on this episode, has put in an interesting answer for his first pick. Let's see how the hosts respond. No way. Whoa, there's worse out yeah, there. Yeah, I would have I definitely put him Edison in. Edison is not overrated. Yes, he's not overrated because yes, idiots like you, Pear, say he's shit. But that's his opinion, though. <laughs> nah, man, there's worse ones out there. Imagine if you were trying to recommend something to a friend and that was the response. Hey, you know what's one of my favorite foods? Pasta. I just really nah, like- Nah, nah. What do you mean? It's what nah. I- Nah, there's better stuff out there. Okay, but personally, I just nah, think- Nah, nah, nah. He, in terms of shot stopping, he's just not, not even. Yeah, he is. He is. No, he's, he's, not, not, he's not. He's the best goalkeeper with their feet in the Premier League. What kind of rebuttal is that? Theo is talking about something completely different to Cal. Yeah, what I love about pasta is that it just tastes great with tomato. Yeah, but it's bad with cheese, so. Okay, but I just really like it with tomato. Yeah, but it's bad with cheese, so. Okay, I am not talking about cheese, but I am, and it's bad. Okay, I'm done with this. Haha, <laughs> yes. Debate one. As fun as it is to see them go back and forth, I really just want to get to the part where it gets heated. He's been shit. Just He's because shit. of the price, like the hype. Yeah. Uh, Fabio Silva at Wolves. No what? one writes that useless, <laughs> That's the worst. That, that is the That's worst. The worst, the worst, 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 worst. Uh, <laughs> my ears, no. Damn, guys. This is really getting heated. <laughs> I'd hate for this to be the first noise that someone hears from this podcast. (laughs) You're driving in your car, you're listening to your favorite audio book, you've got the volume up a little bit so that you can drown out the sound of your car falling apart. And then you think, hey, I haven't finished that episode of Pitch Side. Let me just put it back on for a second. No! Everyone, you've missed the point of this thing. Jesus Christ, I feel so bad for Theo. Admittedly, Fabio Silva is an interesting pick for an overrated player because as they point out, he was never really rated to begin with. But man, look at Theo's face. It looks like he's just been asked what's one plus one and he's answered 11. Just complete dejection from everything and everyone around him is just laughing at him. I think this is consistent with all of these footballing podcasts. As clear as they can make the question, there will always be one host that completely misinterprets it and just resorts to complete slander. Now, there's three hosts on this podcast, with Cal Freezy being the guest on this episode. But there is a secret host that lurks in the shadows. If a debate is ever losing its heat, they call in the big guns. Right back. 
is Ben White, centre back. No way! Centre back. No way! Number one, right? He doesn't no want to play for England. Uh, two, he's prioritised fake you know hands over football. And three, he's a centre back, and uh, people are surprised that he can play a right back. So that's the reason that we're rating him. Trust the Newcastle fan to have the most outrageous takes on the show. <laughs> Newcastle fans are the Chihuahuas of the footballing world. Other dog breeds might get annoying at times, but these guys, there will never be a moment of peace. AKA a moment where they don't call a Newcastle player the next Ballon d'Or winner. Um, this one, uh, I'm going to have to just sort of hold that myself. It? it is long stuff. Yeah, cool. I at one point said he was better than Declan Rice like <laughs> two years ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but Lewis, in every argument he makes, he puts himself forward as this guy that's only spitting fucks, where in reality, he's just completely bullshitting. And every point that he makes is based in opinion and bias. Hey, whoa, 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 whoa. Don't get after me, Newcastle fans. I'm a Geordie too. Well, part from Middlesbrough. So I guess calling myself a Geordie is like calling a caramel macchiato a real coffee. In most of the pitch side clips that I've seen, most of the host's opinions are completely differentiated and they all have usually different stances on topics. But when it comes to their producer, I haven't seen people team up against somebody since Kendrick's last diss track dropped. <laughs> right, it's Harland. <laughs> <laughs> It is. What are you on about? This guy has spoons on his feet and a biscuit tin head. I swear to God, I'm sick of this shit. I agree with the biscuit tin head. Mate, you I can't, swear like, to God. You I'm can't call the best striker in the Bro, he's always been the best striker He's grand led better, but a bit quicker. Moving on. Okay, the next podcast I want to talk about is called The Club. Now, The Club in many ways is an opposite to pitch side. The set, the hosts... This podcast has the look of true footballing fans discussing the world's game at their favourite pub. Again, the perfect venue for a true meeting of the minds. I will say the energy on this podcast is much calmer, unlike most footballing discussions. Because you, you more committed me? It. Are you more committed at me? 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 Now this man is Rory Jennings. He's one of the hosts of the club and he has already missed the question of the debate. So we're doing top 10 wingers in Premier League history now. And I've just been informed Rory understood the question wrong. What does that mean? So the list that I sent to our producer, Jack, I was, I received a fairly rude and curt reply suggesting that I understood the question wrong. But it's okay. He uses the classic debating tactic of, I'm actually right, you're all wrong. So I understood winger to mean winger in the traditional sense of the word, the true sense of the word. It's very much a dad response to being called out, which I mean, you could have guessed already by just seeing the untouched pint of Guinness on the table. <laughs> One point I want to stress about the club in particular is that every single person who appears on the show is heavily biased towards their favorite club. Yeah. When Duff left Chelsea, out of respect for Chelsea fans, he signed for Newcastle, he wouldn't go to Tottenham. That's why he's crying. Put Perez is there because he he helped take Arsenal to that next level. And number three for me is David Beckham. Yeah, but well, nowadays he'd play in Kevin De Bruyne's position in a midfield. Three. He wouldn't be good enough for that role. He wouldn't. Well, mate, he'd be he better. Kind of he be better. better. He's a better player than Kevin. He's De Bruyne. not a better player. He's a much better no, player. He's not a better midfielder. He is. It is quite amazing the lengths that they go to in order to defend their favourite clubs and players. They almost act like Drake stands right now, and Kendrick stands, I guess. Man, that beef is really messy. They make it very clear the teams that they support through the answers that they provide to these questions. And this bias extends throughout their podcast, much like their undying loyalty to their gambling overlords. That Final. is an excellent point, Adam. No, he no, no. Was it better. was robbery. It's, it's because play. you won the it's treble because the year. shandy drinking Southern-based media you don't like what's <laughs> going on up north. Shandy drinking? Shandy drinking Southern-based media. Shandy, shandy, yeah. shandy, shandy, shandy drinking Southern-based media. dare you? And there it is, getting personal as it always does when someone loses an argument. Maybe they are Drake stands. Ultimately, the club is a pretty good footballing podcast. They do discuss footballing topics pretty well. They don't really go into statistics at all. And most of the time, they're just biasedly babbling. But if I were to describe this podcast to someone that has never seen it before, I think it is middle-aged football fans that never drink on camera, but their opinions on football would make you think otherwise. Now, if pitch side is for the youth of footballing fans and the club is more for the old heads, then Talk Sport is a show where old heads discuss football while still sounding like high school kids. Talk Sport is a podcast and also a radio show, and there are a plethora of hosts that rotate throughout the day, many of whom have been directly involved in the top of English football. Though you wouldn't know that when you hear them speak. We've been found out. 
the, pe- the teams have found us out. I was saying this. I was saying this to Bill, right? Right, everyone. Someone has finally said it. Tottenham Hotspurs have a problem. One Peace victory in thirty-four. We've had six clean sheets this season. Six. Mate, first half, mate. What was going on? With bad. Yeah. Well, perfect. He's identified the problem and he's already got a solution. The problem Andrew's got, right? He ain't he ain't at Celtic no more. Well, yeah. He's at Tottenham. We all know that, right? He's nice. in the Premier League. And in the Premier League, the Premier League exposes your weaknesses. Wait, so Ange Postacoglu coaching Celtic was just a walk in the park? By the way, if you don't already know, Celtic is one of the biggest clubs in Europe based in Scotland, and they still have to compete at the highest level of competition in football. But managing Celtic? That's light work when compared to managing Tottenham. It's like he's saying that managing Celtic is like running five kilometers, whereas managing Tottenham is like breaking the Da Vinci code whilst you've got your hands tied around your back whilst you're also running. It just makes no sense. They figure you out. Managers, coaches, players, Jay, everything. Jay, you get found out in the Jay, Premier League, and that's what's happened. Spurs have been found out, know, and so has Ange. Ange has been found out. Okay, I know I'm just trying to poke fun at these guys, but I still don't know what his point actually was. He could have just said that, yeah, the Prem is tough, but instead he's saying that Ange is just not prepared for what he's getting into. Much like this guy when he's trying to complete a sentence without saying the word right. Right, 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 right. All right, Jay. seriously, what is going on? Right, Jay. What is it? Jay. It ain't Celtic, mate. All right? He knows that. Of course he knows that. Just like any new manager, and just still learning. Just like this guy is still learning how to make a point. It's embarrassing. And I, I really like Ange. I do. I think he's I think he's good for the football club and he's been a breath of fresh air. Wait, where was all this? He spent the last two minutes going at Ange, only to say he actually likes him. Like when Kendrick was talking to Dre Okay, I need to stop. Um let's go to some calls. Uh, let's go to Jazz. Who's a Spurs fan? All right, Jazz. Not Jazz. Now, as this is a radio show, they allow the public to call in to provide their two cents on the topic, which is always a recipe for coherent discussion. How you doing? You all right? Yeah, yeah, mate. I'm Who are you just... talking to, Jazz? I guess you're not talking to me. <laughs> well, actually, Condi, funny enough, I'm just looking in this book now. Yeah. And I'm just wondering, in 91, when you played against Ipswich and you scored that lucky goal when you were celebrating the ball with Tottenham, boys, how is it you uh, you celebrated the ball with Tottenham lot? Okay, Jazz just sounds like the ordinary bloke calling in from his favourite pub to give these guys a little bit of stick. Let's see how the hosts respond. Bit, bit bitter, Jazz. Come on. That come jazzy, on. Ja- bitter Jazz. How old were you in 92, Jazz? Uh, I was one and you were still... You're still, so- you're still soiling your nappy. You and that's why you signed... <laughs> you're soiling your nappy it. and you're soiling your nappy again. Stop crying like a big baby, Jazz. That, Come on, address the situation now, doing, Jazz. Come on, Jazz. Come on. <laughs> There he is. That was Jazz back in 92. (laughs) God, I just wish I had a soundboard on deck for every argument that I ever had. Hey, why'd you bump into me? You made me drop all this coffee. Yeah, come on, mate. Stop being a baby. Not gonna lie, that's a pretty big own. Like, you can't really come back from that. You're right. I guess I am a baby. (laughs) It's also kind of crazy to invite callers in only just to bully them. Like, they're your audience. The people that allow for this radio show to stay afloat and allow you to have a job, and you just invite them on to call them a baby? Pretty alpha if I do say so myself. But I guess this does just encapsulate everything about talk sport. Just a bunch of blokes spouting opinions on football for which they have no evidence to back any of it up. Wait, I think there might be a pattern here. I think I know how to make a football podcast now. Alright guys, thanks for watching this episode of Pitch Club Sport. In summary, Darwin Nunes is going to win the Ballon d'Or, Guardiola is mid, and Arsenal are going to win the league because Kai Havertz follows me on Instagram. But anyways guys, thanks for watching this video. If you made it this far, thank you so much. This is a new genre, a new format that I'm trying out. And let me know if you really enjoy this one, if you want me to make some more. If you haven't already, leave a like down below, subscribe if you're new. And as always, I've been Robbo. And I'll see you next time.